Hello and welcome back. I'm here with Ben. Hello, Ben. Hello, my friend. Uh, and literally within a week of us posting about the roadmap and then talking about some things that we'd like to see uh, in Enshrouded's future, uh, they've released the first major update of the game, which is the Hollow Halls update. Um, so I guess we were right in the the first thing on that list was the first major thing that they're trying to implement. Yep. It's kind of wild how quickly they've come out with it. I, I'm I'm surprised. They're definitely on the ball. They're definitely clearly like they're excited to to get on with it and and get the game updated and and stuff like that. Oh yeah, let's not waste any more time, boy. Let's dive straight in with the trailer. Are you ready, Ben? I'm ready. I've been ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Enshrouded's first big update is out now. Don't like to read the patch notes? Then let's go over the highlights together and see what's new. Oh, I'm excited. Introducing Hollow <laughs> Ooh. A series of unique, massive dungeons, one in each biome. We've heard oh, a series of dungeons. More challenging combat yeah. exploration, and with this new update, oh, they look good. To bring it to you. With the oh, introduction no. of dungeons, we are Jesus also Christ. expanding our enemy faction. Wait, adding new skeleton dogs. Props. Exclusive legendary rewards and your hard won trophies. Oh and my mysterious crafting god, station with its own recipes and new quests, one of which leads you to a brand new spooky NPC. But that's not all. We are also a new NPC hertz limitation and updating yeah. our camera motion to support higher frame rates and refresh rates. Okay, performance. We have also lovely, lovely. One of our towns, Willow Crush, that you can explore as well. Interesting, as that's big. That have been improved and are now more polished. For those enchanted by mystical worlds and cozy under oh, oh, they're coming in this update. Yes. Round doors yes. And just that was so fast. God. To elevate your creations to new heights or new lows. Look at them. And wait. They look so more. good. Sitting on oh, furniture. Oh, yeah, come on. Furniture. Whether you've had a long day and need a break. They're adding had so much in this update. I'm going to make bare chairs, man. Or just want to enjoy the view with your friends. The possibilities are endless. Are you a botanist at heart? We've got you covered with potted plants. Oh, man. Simply visit Emily the farm oh, once you've okay. the kiln to access various types oh, of... Oh, they look good. But there's so and much from the roadmap coming already. Expanding the variety yeah. of tree seedlings too. Available at your seed bed station. Oh. Now let's talk about quality of life updates. Okay, this should... Our loot UI design okay. has received an overall. Okay, I like that. You're also able to craft yeah. stacks of items instead of having to furiously yep, spam the space. Yeah, that's helpful. Oh, thank the gift you God. has also been greatly improved for ease of transferring items. Yeah, there items. you go. Yes! The content of magic chests is also now available for workshops. Oh, man. That way, you no longer have to sprint from your chest to the workshop. I'm amazed. Want a more in-depth player stats? I, I didn't expect all this to come so quickly. Stack splitting has also been enhanced, allowing for more flexibility in splitting stacks. Come on. With the new ping function on the world map, Multiplayer coordination just got easier. No more shouting oh, at Steve. Oh, nice. In completely opposite direction. Pings. Simply point them to the specific area you want to meet up on the map. They're such simple and things, lastly, aren't they? We're so hard for to them. find friends servers. Yeah. Worry no more. You can now locate servers via IP address with an added feature to conceal the address for those of you that stream so that Dark Sasuke will not raid your base while you are out on an adventure. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> you thought that this is it. There is more. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. But who am I kidding? If you're interested in seeing all the fixes and improvements, look out for the patch notes available on Steam, Discord, or our website. And if you want to help us spread the word, comment below with good work guys. And until then, we will see you in the next one. Oh man. Jesus. Oh man. Okay, so there's definitely more in the patch notes that weren't in this trailer then. Yes, and I mean there was lots in the trailer. Yeah, there was. <laughs> there was That's more insane. than enough in the trailer. Yeah. So you've got the hollow halls. You've got uh th what's the new there's a new crafting item, right? Like this skull thing. The green glow and the skull could it have something to do with like ne like necromancy? Oh, sure. Yeah. Something like that, right? I don't know. Well, they mentioned a new NPC, didn't they? They did. I wonder if that's to do with this. You'd expect so, right? You would think maybe like a sorcerer or something. Uh, performance improvements. Uh, they've reworked an entire town, which looks much more like a city, which is cool. Yep. Uh, the, mate, the, the round doors and windows I really wasn't expecting. I don't know why, because really when you think about it, that's not a hugely complex 
thing I'd imagine to implement? Uh, not particularly, but when you compare it to like certain things that were in the roadmap, for example, sitting on furniture, which is also coming in. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it's more, it's more objects and like furniture things, which I wouldn't have expected to come yet. I didn't expect any of this to come yet, but crazy. Yeah, there's loads of stuff. The pot plants, uh, just general UI improvements. Yeah. And the fact that it's not even, you know, they've released this and they've gone, coming soon, coming in the next month or whatever. It's like, no, it's available now, apparently. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. I just looked to note exciting. quickly as well, the fact that if you just kind of scroll down the comments, all of it is just so supportive and the players are just so happy to see all these things yeah There's... people are really responding well to the devs actually caring about the game it's sort of similar to how we said before in a way that most developers don't nowadays yeah like there's no negativity there's no oh well you should have prioritized this instead it's just this is great everyone's so hyped for it yeah yeah and we'll be riding that hype train along with them Okay, so uh, as we mentioned, the update is now live, so I think me and Sean are going to go dive into the uh, hollow halls and see how we fare, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the hollow halls.